there's no such thing as free money darling like you will have to pay that money back there is a very strong likelihood that we are going to come out of this in a global recession hey beautiful people welcome back to my channel today i've got something quite different for you guys i used to talk about money on my channel quite a lot back in the day and it's definitely something that i want to bring back i want to talk about um money management financial planning a little bit more now because i feel like it's more relevant now than it ever was and how i make money and multiple sources of income and i'm not even gonna lie to you like my hustle has has dropped that hunger and drive to make money has really dropped i'd say in the last like 12 months but we are back on it i'm watching a lot of content about financial planning and i just thought especially with what's going on with corona right now i would talk to you guys quickly about some of the options that you have in terms of cutting down your expenses right now and maybe planning for the future when we come out of this so very quickly going to talk about um, a lot of the things that i've done since corona kind of came and hit everybody's bank account in some way or another of course there are people that are going to make money from this in every crisis and every tragedy there are opportunities rockefeller the richest man in the world at the time he made a lot of his money was it through world war ii i believe it was world war ii you know so there are people that are going to capitalize on the tragedy let's talk about first of all managing your finances and managing your expenses through this and some of the things that i've done some of this might be very focused on the uk but hopefully some of it can help you so a lot of governments have put something in place because the global economy is going to be effed <laughs> after we come through this the global economy is gonna go through a lot and a lot of governments let's not even talk about nigeria <laughs> so, you know but if you're lucky to live in a, a country where your government has got your back they have put certain measures in place to make sure that the hardship doesn't hit or impact as hard as it possibly could have one of the things that the British government has put in place is they have applied to all the banks and said we need you to give each and every individual who has a mortgage and requires help during this period at least a three month um, mortgage holiday. Um, some banks, it may be extended, it may go up to six months, I believe in Italy they're offering six month mortgage holidays. If you have your own property, your own mortgage, maybe your income has been affected this is something that you can do reach out to your bank i wouldn't recommend this if your income has not been affected by it there's no such thing as free money darling like you will have to pay that money back yes you will so if your income has not been affected do not go out there and then start taking all these holidays it's not going to work but for someone like me where my income has been affected i called my mortgage provider and i said look i have been impacted you know what can you do for me i think i would like to go ahead with a three month mortgage holiday they explained to me that i will have to pay the interest on the money that i don't pay now and it will just basically accrue over the remainder of my holiday term and i was fine with that because right now paying my mortgage when i'm not earning what i was earning before being self-employed it was a no so for me my mortgage is my biggest expenditure so already i have a large chunk of change that I would normally have to pay gone I've got three months breathing room so I've had my first month of mortgage holiday and I've got two additional months and I'm going to like essentially save thousands through this the next few months in crisis but of course I will have to pay it back at a later date so if you've got a mortgage you've been affected have you spoke to your provider have you put something in place now a lot of us might not have mortgages you might be a renter and again the uk government have said that nobody can be evicted throughout this process nobody's going to be ev evicted due to what has happened with corona now that puts a lot of um landlords in a bit of a sticky situation because what the government are effectively saying is you don't really have to pay your rent right now of course the government's not going to come out and say don't pay your rent because <laughs> then all the landlords will sue <laughs> but that's kind of what they're saying you don't have to pay your rent right now the same way you don't have to pay your mortgage right now but again no such thing as free money when this crisis ends if you've not paid your rent for three months four months you know you are going to owe that money. They can take you to court to get that money back. But what the government's basically said is nobody's gonna put you out on the street. So if you need the three months, you know, to maybe 
get your finances a little bit better give yourself time to get a new job maybe you've lost your job you know i would say take it but i would say let that be a last resort you not paying your rent a friend of mine she reached out to her agents she didn't go to the landlord directly and she's basically like she's lost her job through all of this and she needs a bit of help and she proposed an amount which was 33 percent i believe less than what she originally paid so they and they agreed i was like they're not going to agree to that they agreed so basically she's now paying 33 percent less for the next three months while we go through this and she doesn't have to then pay the missing amount back at a later date so i would say if you can do that you can afford to pay something definitely suggest something because they're more likely to accept that now because it's better to get something than to get nothing you know a lot of landlords depend on like their rental income as their living stream so they would rather take something than have nothing for three or four months you're in a good position to negotiate right now another friend of mine also negotiated with her her landlord but she negotiated with her landlord directly and i would definitely say if you can go through your agency um i think that's probably better because they have not just the landlord's best interests at heart but they also have your best interests at heart um and when she negotiated with the landlord directly she was able to get a reduction i'm not sure just how much but she was able to get a reduction on her rent but they said to her that when this crisis is over she would have to pay back the missing amount that had been reduced she would have to pay it back at a later date so she wasn't able to get as good a deal by going to the landlord directly now let's talk about universal credit if you're not british sorry if you're not british this might not make a lot of sense to you but if you are british universal credit is um kind of an option um it used to be called a job seekers allowance and it's kind of an option where if you don't earn a lot of money or you're unemployed the government will pay you a certain amount of money um a week just to like tide you over while you look for a job right now do, because of the crisis there's no requirement for you to be looking for a job and you can even have a job so i'm part-time um working for myself and i have applied for universal credit and i'm being given it because my income now is significantly less than what it was pre-corona um so i don't know what the cutoff was before the crisis it used to be about six thousand something even if you are earning a little bit of money you can or even if you're completely unemployed you can apply for universal credit a friend of mine called me and she'd applied and she cancelled her application because she was like there are people that need it more than her and i credit that but i'm sorry we all need to survive right now and if you're someone who has been paying your taxes then the government can certainly help you through this crisis do not feel bad do not feel like you're a strain on like the system if you need help right now get the help that you need so um, I believe it can take five weeks initially for the universal credit payment to come through, but you can also apply if you need um, an advanced payment. So I think it can be much quicker if you do. And then I think you can choose to either receive your payments on a monthly basis or a bi-weekly basis. And the amount that you get if you're single, I believe, has gone up to uh, £98. I believe yeah, it's got to £98 you get a week. So not a lot of money. So it's about £400 a month, you know, but it's something. £98 a week if you're single and then I think it goes up to about £130. I'm not sure if you're in a couple. And I think if you're less than 25, it's around £78. But certainly apply with the application process. Um, it's all done online. You have to submit your, your government ID, your official documents. And there's a certain part which a lot of people haven't realised. They keep trying to call and book an appointment. You will not get through. But there's a certain part of um, the government website that says journal. Just write a little note. I want to set up an appointment. Da, 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 da. I had a call the other day. It was two days ago. And the only thing they asked me was, how much did I earn last month? And I told them that. And they're like, great. That's it. Okay, so that's universal credit. That's some form of income. Then we've talked about reducing your rent, reducing your mortgage, but also your credit cards. I spoke to my credit card company. Um, I only have one credit card. Thank you, Jesus. Um, I spoke to them just on thursday i believe it was and they said that they could offer me one month um interest free holiday and that's fine but i fully intend to negotiate that up to three months i believe they can do a lot better than offering me one month interest free when we're going through this so they've been closed now for all of easter but um 
Tuesday I will speak to them and just have a chat with them and say look I need more my income has seriously been affected by this and I do not want to end a financial crisis so yeah you can at least definitely I would say get at least one month but you can certainly negotiate tell them you don't want to miss payments and you don't want um, your credit file to be negatively impacted what can they do for you so there's options there as well now one of another I would say my second biggest expenditure um, normally is my gym and my tennis club i pay 165 pounds a month for my tennis club that was the first thing that boris locked down first thing i did was cancel my direct debit they did send out letters to us saying that um they won't be charging us anymore but i didn't take that chance i cancelled my direct debit have you checked are you still paying for your gym membership when you can't even go to the gym you know so if you're that could save you like 50 pounds 60 pounds how much are you saving? Think about all the other things that you're signed up for and the services you're signed up for that you can't use any longer. I can't think of anything now, but there are certain, you know, clubs and events that you pay for that will no longer be um, essential during this crisis and you need to <laughs> you need to X that quickly. You're not paying while you're not using. So council tax, you can also reach out to your council and say, look, because of what's going on, because they are an official government body, I think they will be quite understanding. I haven't spoken to mine yet, but that's something that I will probably do on Monday. Speak to my local council. That's another £130 bill I get every month and just say, look, this is what's going on. You know, can I get you know a suspension for right now while I try and deal with this crisis again also I would say if you can get a job a part-time job whether it's in the supermarkets you know they're still looking for people whether it's in the Nightingale Hospital whether it's a bit of care work these are the industries that are still hiring I think some new business sales are still hiring if you can get some type of temporary employment until things fix up and look sharp I would suggest that you do it and I would suggest that you do it now because there is a very strong likelihood that we are going to come out of this in a global recession. A lot of companies we've already seen are not making it through this crisis. A lot of companies have gone into administration and a lot more will go in. You know, jobs are going to be a hot commodity when we come out of this. They are not going to be, you know, everywhere. A lot of companies are not going to be hiring back all the staff they've lost because it's going to take time for them to earn that money back so if you can get a job now you can be secured for when the crisis ends and everybody stops applying again so those are my top tips guys hopefully this can help some of you guys a few things that you hadn't realized that you could go for do it also airbnb of course with lockdown people aren't really able to move around a lot but there are essential workers especially if you live in london but also different parts of the country they're essential workers they're pulling people back into the workforce if your place is near a hospital um yeah that's an additional revenue stream of course you've got to be careful letting people into your home you know you don't want anybody who may have symptoms coming in but that's something you can have a chat with them about you can maybe even video time facetime before you accept you know but also if they're essential workers especially doctors and nurses they know how to take the proper precautions. So I hope you guys have found this video useful. I'm Mimi adjusting me. We are looking kind of good. We mean really good. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Comment below if you found any of this information useful and if you've got other top tips or things that you have done really to financially manage, successfully financially manage your money right now. Share the love, put us on and let us know. I'll catch you soon. Why you, why you, why you? Classic.